So today we're going to be painting uh, Chile. Uh, that's how I draw. I like looking for images and kind of doing my own version of it. Um, it's fun for me, relaxes me. And uh, let's see how it goes. So all your tools you need right here. Pretty simple. Um, your water bottle. Your salsa jars, make them into watercolor soluble containers. And uh, this is all you need for your drawing techniques. You, need, you don't need much. You know, drawing is not, me personally, so much the concern because we're going to use watercolor over it. So, to me, um, the little mistakes, you know, it's kind of like life. You just kind of move on and learn from them. And you keep improving the image that you want to portray. And just relax. Put some nice music on and continue to keep trying until you think like, okay, I got the image that I think it's in my mind and I'm going to try to make it work with watercolor. And you add where kind of you want to see the details of the pepper. Don't worry about the mistakes. Just erase and try again. I'm going to put a line in the middle because I wanted to make it seem as if the pepper is sitting on a table. wooden table with lines why do I like watercolor because watercolor it's uh, not expensive for one I buy these on Amazon Hobby Lobby real cheap paints all you need is the color and you can buy the expensive stuff it's up to you but I'm here to have fun and enjoy my painting, not to break my wallet doing paintings. So, looks like we're close to what I kind of think is what I want. I'm gonna fix this stop right here, make it a little puffier. And then we will start with the watercolor. So first things first, once I have the design, I like to kind of like fade the pencil, pencil color. The reason I do this is so the first thing I do for watercolor is you want to wet your whole page. This is why I have the sprayer and a longer brush. You just want to spray it with water. You want to pre-game it and get it wet so when you start putting your wall colors uh, it makes it easier not only to put the paint down but to give you an idea of what color and the extent of how much color you want on that specific subject um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to forget about these lines. I'm not going to put it over a table. I'm just going to give it a, um, a background of maybe just light, dark, or too dark. We'll see. We'll go as a, 
we'll see um we'll play along see how it goes but definitely the tables off the table i like just a single image with nothing in the back i think that looks very cool So we're gonna go ahead and pregame it, and you get your sprayer out. You get it all nice and wet, just like that. Once you have that going, you want to put um, my preference is to do the background, which I'm going to go with purple because why not? So here's your color, put a little water, you add your water. Grab your little brush. <clears throat> Just like that. So I'm finishing up my first layer of purple. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus more on the pepper you want to give this purple a little time to dry up why don't I paint on a easel or a stand it's because I love my desk I like doing everything on my desk so that's why I don't use that but you guys are more than welcome plus I have back issues I'd rather be sitting down I have many degenerative discs that would not like for me to stand. I like using the small brush to go over the lines. And by lines I mean to the edge of the pepper. And then I take my time with it. Can you see how that purple is dried up? It's really lovely. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play around and I'm gonna add another color on top of the purple. Maybe a blue. See how that looks like. I'm gonna finish painting the pepper red, wait for it to dry. And I'm, I'm gonna do the green tip too. The grim tail of the chile pepper. When it comes to the purples, the same thing. I'm gonna go around the edges, and then I'm going to do full blown with the medium sized brush all over the the drawing. Guys, don't worry if you make a mistake. This is not a homework assignment. We're not giving this to the Queen of England. This is artwork for you. You can give it to your puppy, your cat, your girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, whoever you want to give it to. 
I'm sure they will love it just because you took the time and effort to do it. There's nothing like a handmade gift. Be resilient, boys and girls. I need you to be resilient, consistent. Don't give up halfway saying, oh, it's not gonna look what I want to. Listen, it's going to look just how it was intended for it to look. Once I redo the purple, I'm going to go ahead and redo the pepper. But I'm going to start adding the details. And you'll see what I mean by details. That kind of adds to the realism of the pepper. Of course, it's not gonna be a pepper pepper. In fourth dimension, third dimension, it's just a drawing of a pepper. I'm telling you, someone is going to like it. And we're going back to the pepper. Once I'm going to finish the pepper, I'm going to add the details and then I'm going to keep going back to the purple, back to the green. And uh, this is pretty much as uh, almost at the end, uh, you're going to see whether um, you are satisfied or not. Here comes the blue. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Make some purple with blue, but sounds like fun, doesn't it? Who doesn't like a little fun? That's the whole point of being here. Fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna start painting some of the details on the tail of the pepper and I always recommend to have a an extra sheet of artwork paper so you can always test your lines okay so I'm pretty happy with this one I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the details some of the details I'm going to use the black line around as an outline. A lot of people don't. I do. Just gives it so much character, doesn't it? Details, details, details. You know, it's what makes the world go round. Can't see the whole picture without the details. We're gonna go over the red more to make it more darker. The red that is. We're gonna go ahead and add the red with a small brush all over the image.
Once we do that, we'll take a step back, take a good look at it, see if we're satisfied. And if we're happy, we'll let it dry and we'll, send, uh, we'll hang it on the wall or gift it. I also want to add a shadow right here going that way. How are we liking it so far? I think the details give it so much better understanding what the big picture was going to be. Just like I promised you, don't underestimate yourself or what you're trying to draw or what you want out of an image. This is your time. I think I'm gonna add a little orange also to the pepper. Yeah. Sure. Fruits and vegetables is one of my favorite paintings. I just love painting them. Just like that. We're going to add orange to our pepper. Adding the orange is really going to pop up that darkish color of a well ripe pepper. So how are we doing with that orange? Like I promised the orange gives a little bit of a fiery view. Very attractive. I like it. Looks like uh, I might add a little more green to the tail or the stem, whatever you want to call it. English is my second language, so I'm not very good at it, guys. It's okay. We can understand visualization and that's why I'm making this video As you can see the shadow is looking good can add a little bit of more dark Once it dries up, we're gonna add more dark to this shadow. So there you have it, uh, it's complete. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna wait. Um, I usually wait maybe about five hours and I will feel good that that's dry and uh, be ready to hang up. So I'm gonna show you the image after it's dry so you can see what it looks like. Well, it's been almost an hour. And as you can see, this is the final product. I wanted to show you how kind of what it's going to look like once it's dry. But hey, not bad, right? Not bad. Hope you guys enjoy this piece of art. Um, I wanted to show you the image where uh, got me. See this? See the photo? compared to that not bad not bad so I hope you guys like the art and uh, please click subscribe and share this video with your friends 
um, I really hope you guys learn something from this and we will continue to make videos and um, share art together thank you